I think sculpture has been bedeviled for longer than it, perhaps any of the other art forms by the tradition of preconceiving the work. This has been very restrictive to creativity, certainly to my creativity, and I think I find with students too. For me, the important thing is to get out of my head, manipulate the material, find ways of making it stand up or hold together, and seeing what comes. I don't know what to say about this. It's just something that I'm, I've been struggling with for a long time, actually. What? Where does it come from? Oh, I don't really know. I mean, it comes from uh, just the urge to make another big sculpture. It started off with a bang and built it up very quickly. I've been quite stuck with it, but I'm just making uh, making a big alteration down here, actually. Mm -hmm. The base. All that's going to come out eventually when I build it up here. It's got to be resolved because I've spent so much time on it. It's got tension in it. I mean, I'm quite pleased with parts of it, and it's very, it seems very, it's very complex, it's got lots of, hell of a lot of things going on, mm. a lot of ambiguities. People who really inspired me are people from the past, I suppose, people like, you know, medieval sculptors, like Giovanni Pisano and, uh, and Donatello too, some of Donatello's works, mm. got this amazing interior intensity which is, I find very inspiring. I mean I want my sculpture basically to be affecting, I mean to affect people. Being moved is uh, another way of saying that in a way. I think you can be affected by shapes without being able to describe what it is that's moved you. And so it's a very very deep-seated function that sculpture has and that's what one is dealing with.